All right, guys, we got the year the brand new 2021 Trek Imanda uh, SLR 800 OCLV uh, in a size 54, and it has a SRAM 4 spec on it. Weighs in at 15 pounds, 11 ounces, and 7.12 kilos. Stay tuned to after the video where you hear an amazing sound test, no break rope. Thank you guys. Bye. Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is GC Performance here, back with another video. Today, I have for you guys the brand new 2021 the hard to get, the elusive Trek Imonda and the SLR 800 OCLV. I think that's one of their top line carbons they make. And this is an exclusive Project One color. Um, it's been a while since the customer actually got this bike on in stock here. Um, and it took the customer, I think, about four months to get in. Retail on it was about $9,400, the way they spec'd this one. I'll go over the features. I'll kind of show you what the how this bike is ran, everything about it, what's, it, what's good on it, what's bad on it. And then, um, and we'll get into the weight as well was 15 pounds and 11 ounces. So getting into it, uh, this is their brand new bike that they just redid similar to the Tarmac SL7. As you guys can see, they have the integrated cables here. Um, this is a one piece bar. So we'll start off at the top. It's a full carbon bar, uh, one piece bar and stem. This was spec with SRAM force on here. So SRAM force wireless, uh, two by 12 ETAP. Uh, you can see right here, you have a little mount option right here to add a Garmin mount if you like. Uh, going on down to the wheels, they came with the Bond Traeger uh, Aeroless Triple X4. These are gonna be similar to like the Rapid dish depths on there. It looks like about a 40 or 45 millimeter. Um, and these hubs are Bond Traeger hubs, very similar to like a DT240 internals. Uh, they're not ceramic bearings, but um, Bond Traeger, Reval, and DT are all very similar. They all use kind of similar internals. These wheels are tubeless, as you guys can see. These are, oh, actually, no, I'm sorry, these are not tubeless. These are the, uh, he has the, uh, the latex valves in there, but they are tubeless ready if you wanted to. Um, but very clean looking bike. I love the little French flag on there too with the Bond Trigger tires. Looks sick. Again, I'm pretty new to Bond Trigger. I just wanted to, uh, oh, right there. Let's zoom in on that right there. Tubeless ready. So step up on Specialized with their wheels. The wheels look sick as well. They are definitely more narrow than the Rapids, but, uh, Amazing looking bike, definitely sick. Uh, going on down to the handlebar situation, the way this is ran is, you guys can see underneath here, the cables are ran similar to the Tarmac SL7. You have a little uh, mounting plate right there where it kind of goes in. Uh, the cables are, are crimped right there. And then actually the cables are not ran inside the bar, they are ran behind the bar or like in a little channel. So the cables go all the way there. Very easy to chain or to lower the stack on the stem and make it lower if you want. The only downfall I see of this uh, option with the integrated one bar is that obviously if you buy this bike and you want to change the stem length or different handlebars or even just stem degree, you have to buy a whole new piece, which I'm guessing this is probably gonna be around like 400 bucks or 350 bucks guessing from Trek. So that's the only downfall I can see. I don't know if this is an option all the way through on the whole bikes, um, but I mean, that's it's kind of stinks that you have to change out the bar and stem option. But if you like it for what the weight is for 15, 11 pounds, that's a very good option. Uh, cables are ran inter internally around here, go down to the front brake right there, and then the rear brake down there, and that's the only cables going down there. I believe that the SLR 800 is their top line carbon that they make for the Project One, assembled in the United States, very cool. You guys can see up here as well. I'm gonna go on this side so you guys can see the color better. They did this chameleon color, it's absolutely sick. It goes purple to green, but this side's more purple, looks sick. Um, beefy right here where the head tube is to provide extra lateral stiffness, gets skinny to shave weight. And then again, goes beefy to the uh, seat posts where there would be more flex for sprinting as well. Bottom bracket on here, I'm believing is still, no, that's, that's threaded. Okay, so these Amanda frames are threaded. Actually, you know what, to be honest with you, let me know in the comments if you guys know what it is. I, it looks like it's threaded because that dub situation right there, uh, but it could be threaded into each other but that's just the case right there. Uh, and someone actually told me, Bond Traeger does this as well. I think this is a little mini multi-tool. Or am I just an idiot? Oh, I might be. Yeah. Come on. I think. All right, give me a second. I know, I'm sorry. I just wanna see if this is true or not. Okay, I don't know. But I thought that was a tool that you could pull out to adjust everything. I don't know again, um, but yes. Going down to the color, absolutely sick. You have the chrome decal on there. You have the chrome decal on the Trek. On this side, you can see when the sun hits it, it goes to green. On the other side, it's purple. That's the one thing I'll say. Now, granted, this bike is 
This bike is spec'd similar to a Tarmac Pro SL7, which is $7,200. But the benefit to this bike is that it is a Project One. And with that, you get a unique bike. You get, have, you, get, you get to build how you want it. You get to pick the color how you want it. You get to make the bike yours. Whereas where you're buying a Tarmac uh, Pro, there's only limited to so many colors and you don't really get to stand out. So, I mean, if you're spending 7,200 bucks, you probably have the money for the extra two grand to make it your own bike. Um, you know, to make it like, you know, a one-off of what you want. Very good looking paint job. They look amazing. I'm not the biggest fan of the way the seat post snaps on there. I've never really worked with those before. I don't know how easy or hard they are to work on, but if you do want to lower it, I think you might have to cut it. But um, I do know that this makes the bike a lot more stiffer in this area. And then also it makes it uh, lighter as well because it's just one piece of a mold. But you can kind of see it goes to the chameleon color and then to a gloss carbon, which looks sick, to a matte carbon. Uh, they have their own bond trigger. God, uh, you guys are gonna kill me with this word. Ao loose. <laughs> Jesus. Ao Ao loose elite. Bond trigger saddle looks very similar to a specialized power. Nice wide channel for blood flow. Looks great. Uh, crank spec on here a 4835, which is amazing for Florida. So very nice chain ring. 48 top, 35 bottom. This crank is ready for power meter as well. If you did want to put one on here. And then in the back, you have the SRAM Force rear derailleur, um, 12 speed. You have your wireless batteries right here. These are interchangeable. So if this one dies, you can go ahead and put it to here. If this one dies, you can go ahead and put that to there. Very sim simple. It is a 12 speed bike. You have a 1033 on here as well. So 10, uh, 10 tooth down here, a 33 up top. And then you have your bond trigger hub back here. I do have a sound test for you uh, at the end of the video. They sound sick. Very similar to the Revolves again. I think there's there it's like a DT240 internal on here. So keep that in mind. But very lightweight wheels. Bond Trigger makes nice wheels. You know, they're the top of the class. So, but $9,400 for this beautiful, beautiful uh, Imanda. I mean, it's been a while since I've seen this thing. I was actually really surprised by how light they were. I was so used to lifting up treks and feeling the, the tankiness of them, the Madones. Every time I picked up a Madone, they're very aero, yes. But it always, uh, they always felt kind of chunky, like a chunky tanky boy. But uh, this Amon is very lightweight, very agile. I love the look of it. I love the cables. I know that people might say these cables are uglier. We can maybe make them tighter right here. Um, but the the efficiency and versatileness of this being able to drop easily and not have to worry about taking out your brakes and everything like that, and even being ran outside the bar like that, it's, it makes it so easy for one for the consumer, well, the mechanic, but also the consumer. If you bring your bike in on race day and you need it done right away, it's a big help to you both of you guys. But we'll just take a second to go through the color on here. Kind of want to show it off. So we got the green. Oh, look at that color, man. Holy cow. Purple with the chrome decal. Oh my goodness, man. That's one thing Trek does. Trek does a beautiful job with coloring. It looks absolutely insane. The chrome, how can you not like chrome? The chameleon looks absolutely insane. So that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. Let me know what you guys think about this bike down below in the comments. Um, I know that probably people are still waiting. If you guys are local in the area and you guys are interested in Mondas, I know people who might be able to get them for you. Uh, I got a store, so if you want, contact me. I will set you in line and get hooked up with them. Uh, very nice people always hooking me up um, with, with Lemmy user bikes. I'm a huge fan of Trek. I love the Trek line. I know they're a big competitor specialized, but I just like bikes in general. I'm sure you guys do too. But that color is just, oh my God, dude, that thing's so nice. All right, guys. But yeah, I wanted to bring it to you guys because I've been seeing this bike request a lot. It's my first time on there. Thank you guys again so much. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys. Bye. All right, guys. I got here the 2021 Trek Imanda and the SLR 800 OCLV. And some Bond Traeger wheels on here. Triple X4. Sound amazing. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys later.